if you own stocks, all you can do is sell them for in this country dollars. Mm -hmm. When the dollar loses all confidence, I mean, the only thing that's holding the dollar together at all is that people cannot, which they knew when they created the system, people cannot possibly conceive that the dollar can go away. Mm -hmm. So even the new currency is still called the dollar. So people don't realize the change, but um, you know, you really need to have good money that holds its value. And actually not just that it holds its value, mm -hmm. but a rising gold price is an indication of a failing currency, right? Yeah. Do they want you to realize that the currency is failing? Oh no. Yeah. So they suppress the price. So, you know, if you look around at all of the different choices, whether it's stocks or real estate or cryptos or anything, does any of that seem undervalued to you? No, not no, usually. Exactly. No. This yeah. is the true value. If they were to reset, because this is how they do the ultimate overnight reset is against gold. If they were to do that today, you would see spot gold go to at least $13,500 minimum because wow. that's its true fundamental value. So the fact that you can buy it around, you know, 1900, it's a bargain. Yeah. Can you get into a little bit more? Cause I know you have lots of knowledge in our previous conversation, et cetera. Um, I love the, when you talked about the history of dollar, and then using the gold as an anchor for that. Um, and then how you came up with roughly the estimates of like, hey, how do you know, like if it's 13,500, okay, Lynette, I can take your word for it. But how do you know, like, I found it just fascinating in previous discussion we had, that you had this like whole history, the oh, backing sure. and all that stuff. So it's not just kind of based off Lynette said so, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, and it should never be because Lynette said so. <laughs> yeah. It should also be, it should also not be because anyone else said so. Right. 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 That's yeah. why in all Absolutely. of my work, I give you all the links. Don't, yeah. take, I don't want you to take my word for anything, but I definitely have been a student of currencies and the depression. And so, you know, when you're on a gold standard and the government wants to tax you, well, you mm. know about it and you might not agree with it. Right. So they started the transition into a pure fiat money. Fiat means by decree. So a government based money mm. in uh, 1913 and now a 20th and, of an ounce. Which and prior to that, and prior to that, Lynette, that was like it, your dollar is kind of like if they were trading silver, right? Like, is that how? Right. The gold and yeah. the silver were actual, the, actually the money that was in circulation. And then they created gold certificates. Mm -hmm. So it looked, so you could go into any bank with that gold certificate and walk out of that bank with a $20 gold coin. If you went in with a $20 bill, and this is a $20 gold coin, it's an ounce of gold roughly. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and so they had to keep it like that, but then they started the transition. So legally, when they installed the federal reserve, which is not federal and they hold no reserves, it's not a government agency, it's mm -hmm. a private bank. Uh, but when they installed them, they then gave them the right to print $2.4 for every dollar's worth of gold that we held in deep storage. Mm. And so very quickly, that's exactly what they did. You saw that if you look on the purchasing power graph at the Fred, you'll see that the dollar's purchasing power value dropped 50% because of all that new money that they printed. Mm -hmm. And then we had the roaring twenties. And I'm gonna tell you, every single time they wanna transition you into a new monetary system, they make you, they allow you to make or feel like you're making a lot of money so mm -hmm. that you just go along with it. Mm -hmm. And then once the public started to get involved in the stock market back in the twenties, well, then the credit dried up and we went 1929 mm -hmm. and then we had the depression, but we were, that was the kickoff. So in 33, 
you could, the citizens could no longer convert this into a $20 bill. That was, they had to take the gold away from the public. They had to, mm -hmm. right? And so they confiscated the gold other than this kind of gold, pre-33 coins. So people could have actually continued to accumulate, but they didn't know, they didn't understand the law. The guys that wrote the laws, that's exactly what they did because they knew full well that they were destroying the purchasing power value of the currencies. So that went on. And then in 1971, but governments could still convert dollars into gold mm -hmm. in 19. Well, in the 1960s, there was actually a run on the dollar. And so governments around the world were sending in dollars and pulling the gold out of our coffers. And so in 1971, they say Nixon closed the gold window. What he actually did was hand over full control and power to the central banks of inflation, which is really not a good idea since yeah. banks basically know debt and interest. But, um, you know, since then, really since 1913, if you look on the graph, it's constantly downhill. That's the real trend. So mm -hmm. they make the stock market go up because what inflation really does is it creates nominal confusion and people get married to numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So if they make the stock market go up, people go, oh, look at this, I'm making so much money. But then the real trend is in that purchasing power, you're not really making money. You're right. just kind of treading water. I mean, in a trading environment, maybe when things zoom or what have you for a minute, but that's really about getting you comfortable in that area to make that transition for them very easily. Mm -hmm. What they did, we heard of the Roaring Twenties and look at, we got the Roaring Twenties again, a hundred years later. Right. That's because we're in transition into a whole new social, economic and financial environment. Environment, yeah. <laughs>